Hi there, welcome to another painting tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to paint this cute little chipmunk. So let's start. And I wanna start with a filbert. We'll do a fairly large size. I have a size nine here. And I wanna start by putting down some mid-tone colors. And for a mid-tone, I wanna use this kind of burnt sienna color. And mix that with a little bit of this rich yellow, which is a yellow ochre. And I wanna get quite a bit of water on my brush. And let's put this down as a wash. So I'm gonna put that on the tail. Kinda use the edge of your brush to get close to the edge of your sketch. And feel free to take a screenshot and go ahead and trace this outline. And then I'm gonna put this brown, maybe over the top of the face here, making sure I have enough water so that gives my paint the ability to flow smoothly. And then go ahead and put some on the leg over here. And we'll put it on this leg on this side then we can put some along the back here and just kind of define those variations in um, planes. Okay, now let's take a different color. So I'm gonna mix kind of a cooler brown. So I'm gonna use this Van Dyke brown and mix it up with some of that burnt sienna that we already had, just to give us a cooler brown. And let's put that, I'm gonna put some over here. I'm just gonna kinda pop this darker brown color in where I see kind of a variety in color. So if you look on your sketch, you'll kinda see where those different lines are, different shapes. And I'm just gonna put that brown in there. Maybe under the arm. And we could do a layer around the face here. And you wanna think about which areas you're gonna have dark and which areas are gonna be light. I Put this streak here. And then I'm gonna do paint in the ears. This is just an initial underpainting, so don't try to be too exact. Okay, so I wanna let that dry a little bit. And while that's drying, let's work on the leaves. So take your smaller filbert brush. I have a size six here. And for the leaves, we can put down, maybe start with a darker color. So we can take this Van Dyke Brown and just kind of pop it in at the bottom of the leaf. And I'm kind of going in like a outward type of motion. I'm gonna do that same thing over here. Just want a little bit of a darker color along the bottoms and on the shadows of those leaves. Now let's take an orangey color. I have like a terracotta orange and I'm gonna use that. And I'm gonna put that kind of right over that brown. I'm using the edge of my brush to get a little bit more detail when I go around those little bit um, tighter curves. Make sure you have enough water. Just kind of blend that together. And if the paint kind of mixes a little bit, that's just fine. And I can't, like I said, I can just go right on top of that brown and that'll allow those colors to blend pretty nicely. And then use that same terracotta color on the other two leaves. If you wanted to mix it, all you'd have to do would be like a yellow and a brown and a little bit of, um, 
red. So orange is going to be your yellows and your reds. Okay, so that looks good. Um, maybe add a little bit of a highlight. So you can take a lighter color like this yellow ochre. Just pop it in on kind of the tips of the leaves to be just a little bit of a highlight. These can be a little bit more abstract, so you don't have to fuss too much about details here. We can come back later and add some lines if we want. Okay, and let's take this brush and go back to the squirrel or the chipmunk. I'm going to take this Van Dyke Brown and I'm going to pop that along the back ear. Then I want the inner ear to be a little bit darker as well. So I'm just going to put that darker color in there. And then this kind of piece around the eye is going to be a dark brown. So I'm going to fill that in. And around his muzzle gets a little bit dark. And then by the nose, you could add a little shadow under the nose. And then under the face here, we'll add a little bit of a dark shadow. And then carefully try to get in between the fingers to just do a little bit of a shadow there. Okay. And then I want a shadow underneath here. And then I can put some on the feet as well. So I'm just thinking about where are my shadows? Where are my dark spots? And I'm just filling those in. Okay. And then the tail, I want to add some shadow there. So I'll take more of this Van Dyke Brown and then see if I can kind of feather this color out. Just using these very nice expressive brush strokes, just kind of going out and that's really adding a nice texture to the tail. So this is part a part of the painting that you could really have a lot of fun with. Okay, and then, so I'm gonna take a lighter value now and I'm gonna use this yellow ochre. And I'm gonna use that to kind of fill in these white spots that we have left. So the little paws are gonna be this yellowy color and I'll put it on this part of the face. And this is just our lighter value. And these three colors are nice, rich ochres that are really fun to paint with. And I just wanna kind of cover up any of those white spots of the paper. You can come down here and do the feet. Just cover up any of the white. Okay, and then let that dry. So let's work on the eye a little bit. So for eyes, I like to use a size zero spotter, and this can allow you to get a lot of control with your brush. So I'm dipping it into the black paint, and then I'm just gonna carefully paint in the shape of the eye. So it's kind of a circle. Then it comes to a little bit of a point like that. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. And then while that's drying, I'm gonna put in black for the nose. Let me bring it down a little bit. Okay, so then I kind of wanna let that dry I could put maybe a little bit of black for the nails here. And while that's drying, you can take your um, spotter. Actually, let's switch to a liner brush. So I'm gonna take a script liner brush and let's roll that in some black paint 
just roll that brush and then let's make some fine lines on these leaves and just take a fine line and see if you can make the veins of the leaf just starting from the center and pulling it out and just carefully this one you can do a few lines as well you can connect this piece of the sketch and then just kind of feather it out this one has a few lines and that just gives a little bit better of a detail Okay, so after that dries, I want to, I'm going to take that spotter brush again and take a little bit of white and mix it with some of this Van Dyke Brown. Let's see if I can go around that eye to kind of give a more realistic eyelid. Just tapering on both sides and I can see that it's still wet because it's kind of the surface is appearing shiny so I do want to let that dry before I add like a pop of detail okay and I'm gonna switch to a smaller I have a size 4 filbert here you could use a size 6 as well and I'm gonna take some white and I want to put some white marks on the chipmunk so they usually have some white on their belly so you could just put a nice area of white and then they have some white around their eye so you could put two white streaks there and it kind of goes towards the nose a little bit of a highlight behind the ears and then we can do down the back. It's a nice white highlight. And then you could put some of this white into the tail as well. Could just kind of be a little bit random with that. Okay, and you might want to do some blending if you see like that your lines are a little messy in certain areas. Go ahead and blend if you feel the need. All right, and then at this point, go ahead and add some more detail if you'd like. You can kind of make certain areas just a little bit darker if you need to. I'm going to put a little bit of a darker shade here. Anything that is in a lot of shadow that you just want to kind of reinforce, go ahead and put in those darker values. And also another layer can make things look just a little bit smoother. Okay, and then I'm going to take this spotter brush, size zero, and I'm going to take a little bit of the titanium white. We're going to pop in that tiny little dot for the eye. Just a very light touch. And he has another one right here. Okay. And then I might go around that with a little bit more black. Just to kind of clean up some of those edges of the eye okay then I might do the same for the nose maybe put like a little bit of a highlight on the nose maybe in the middle just highlight it a little bit and blend it there and if you want, you could do the whiskers. So 
you could roll that in a black, your fine liner brush. And you can put in these tiny little whiskers. And then you could go back and erase the pencil if you wanted to. And then I think I missed the little eye here. So I could just do maybe like a burnt sienna. It's just the eye that's kind of poking through there. So it's probably going to be like the eyelid. I might actually try to darken that. I think it might look better as a dark brown shade. just because the darker colors are going to kind of fade to the background and I don't want it to stand out too much. Okay, so go ahead and stand back, kind of assess your work, see what you might want to change or blend or add. And I'm going to call this piece done. Thanks for painting along with me. Like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye!